Hey everybody, Anime Boy in Power here, and welcome back to more Earthbound. Last time, we brushed the dust off ourselves and battled the Titanic Ant, reclaiming the power of the of the sanctuary location known as Giant Step. And now we're strong enough to be able to one-shot these enemies. Ooh, bread! Yeah, I'm going off on a way on a mega tangent here. But if you haven't noticed in the last episode, after we defeated the after we defeated Titanic Ant and reclaimed the melody of Giant Step, there was a police officer right outside this cave waiting for us. Even though it probably shouldn't have taken this long to be able to... to reclaim the power. And... Oh, uh-oh. And you can probably still hear the police sirens as we speak. Now... I think it's time we face the music and figure out what they want. Hi, Miss... Uh-oh. Hey, you! The board says, do not enter! Couldn't you read it? Um... It says, don't enter. Couldn't you read it? No, I could What a rebellious kid! Come to the ONET police station later. Not good. Really not good. Sure, I could heal up. I'm only... 10 HP away from being at full health, but that's not the point here. The point is... Oh, my dogs are weak. We got ourselves in a bit of trouble with the law. I'm not a good guy. This isn't supposed to happen to me. Like, what is going on here? Hey, the sharks are gone from the arcade! Now I can go in! Except I don't have any money to play the games. Oh. Hey, look, a magic butterfly. <sighs> but it's clear to me that the scenario is this. Though Mayor Perkle gave us the key to the, sh to the uh, traveling entertainer shack so we could go to the giant step, he didn't tell anyone. Either that, or he did, and didn't... Either that, or he did, did tell the, the, the officers, and... And he wants to keep his reputation as a good mayor, making it look like he lied. Make it, it look like he... Like Ness took the key. Well, I digress. Open soon, Mock Pizza Onet Branch. Yeah, yeah, even after all this happened, and the, the Mock Pizza Onet Branch isn't open. And we also have this arcade. Mostly, f well, again, free from the sharks. We were already, th we've been, just been through this. Yes. Here's some, and yes, you can talk to Frank, and he'll, and he can f recover your HP. Like, like sleeping at a hotel or talking to mom. Hey, you look much stronger. Would you like to rest? Sure. Ness, you're not stronger than I. Your adventure's just beginning. Thanks, Frank. Now, I feel as though there's still something that needs to be done. Other than confronting the officers at the Onet police station. It's been a long day. I think I should go off to go to bed. And it's still funny how the trucks just stop when they hit someone. <laughs> That's one of the things I love about this game. Anyways, we gotta get back up the hill to our place. 
And you know, we should probably talk to Dad. We haven't heard from him in a while, and... Die, Crow! Ness, it's your dad. I deposited $1,120 into your bank account. Taking away what you've spent, you should now have $1,355 in the bank. Well, experience to get to the next level. Ness, $1,123. Anyway, what do you need from me? All done. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I've created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs> Ness, you like to work hard, just like your mother. But I don't think it's good to work too hard. You're back! Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look too tired. Mothers understand these things. Eat some steak and scoot up to bed. Okay, Mommy. Ness? 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 My name's, My name's Paula. Paula. Can you Can hear me you calling, calling you? you? She's distressed. As if she's in trouble. Good morning, Sleepy Bones. Are you ready to start your adventure? I am so proud of you. My little man is growing up too fast. Uh, no matter. We gotta go down to the station and face the music. Dog tired as I am. Okay. Oh yeah, look at the sometimes they're better than you. One damage is not a lot, really. But still, I should probably eat this cookie. Yeah, I should consider leaving. 
of the other food to Tracy's care. And again, I've got money. I could buy another hamburger. I will need them. As much as I need my psychic powers for this fight. How do I know it's a fight? It's that sort of instinct. I can't explain it. I know something's wrong. It's, you know when you, you have that gut feeling that you know something is wrong? This is one of those moments. I'm gonna do some shopping. Okay, maybe not shopping here. What to say? Welcome to the automatic teller machine. Please select a transaction. Your account currently shows a balance of $1,361. Please enter the amount of your withdrawal. Balance. Oh, I'll take about 20 bucks with me. No, wait, 30. Your account has been debited $30. Please take your cash. All right. So here's a strategy I like to use a lot. I go, I, I retrieve my money, I buy something, then I return the money, so I... See, so my balance is... My current balance is zero. And make sure I don't die. So if I lose any money, I don't die. I can't, meaning I can't lose too much money if I die. Because if you lose a battle in this game, coming back means any money that's on your person will be halved. The account will be credited $2. Not much, but hey, I currently have <laughs> four hamburgers. <sighs> Got a lot of food items. Cold remedy. As for the soundstone, haven't used it a lot. But let's see what it does. Let's touch the soundstone to his forehead and gather his thoughts. That's the only melody we have so far. We'll gather more as we go. But right now, the most. Well, right now, the most important thing is that we get down to the station and stand up to for what's right. Let's go. That was a little too close for comfort, but here's the police station. <laughs> and the music is just silly. <sighs> I'd rather be working as a parking meter cop. It's just been too busy lately. I'm sick of it. Man, am I steamed. Don't even try talking to me. Uh, hello, Mr. Officer. I'm here. So, here you are. You're the little delinquent that came back from Giant Step. Well, my reputation precedes me. Now, you listen here. Don't enter means just that. Do not enter. You got that? And furthermore, blah, 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 blah. It's usually those tax evaders who blah 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 blah. We don't enjoy blocking off the roads, you know. But you said you were going for the record. What well, record? It's usually the local whiners who make a big deal about emergencies and meteorites. It's blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> okay, did anybody get uh, understand any of that? And here we have Captain Strong. Here we go. <sighs> Why is the road to Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. At times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyway, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Of course. Okay. <laughs> Follow me. Well, here we go.
Show me what you got. See if you can get past five of my best men. Let's do this. Yeah! Hey, small fry, you must be shaking in your boots. And here we have the five-man cop rush. You fight four. You fight. You have to fight all these cops without breaks. Meaning you have to make use of all your moves. Do a little strategizing, you know? Make use of the food you have, bash when you need to. Oh, and if you're at this point of the game, you can make you good use of PSI Rocket. Like, watch this. PK Rocket! <laughs> Crushing chops do a lot of damage, by the way. <laughs> That's one! One down? And about five, four to go. You're tough! Woo! You're tough! You should join the police force! Maybe when I'm older. Your average policeman's stronger than any superhero! Why, even stronger than Superman! All the cops in this rush ha- rush? Well, except one. Has, well, has, oh, has pretty much the same attacks. The crushing top chop does a lot of damage. And you can still make use of PK Rocket if you have the side points for it. Like that! These cops are fairly... Oh, Whew, you won! You won! Don't let the mayor's compliments give you a big head. Oh, he has told you, eh? Bring it on, fat boy! Okay. Okay, time for you to have your- Okay. Okay, surrender your badge, sir. I don't wanna make- I'm gonna make this painless. Oh, that is relatively painless as- One shot the cop! That works. Oh. <laughs> Let's do this again sometime! <laughs> Next time, I'll take you out with my nuclear suplex attack! Boy, can't wait to see that! Come on! I'm gonna take you up right here, right now, baby! Alright. Alright. So we're gonna make use of the hamburger. Accurate. Sometimes you can make use of that. Make that use that turn out to your advantage. <sighs> I lost. <sighs> That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm gonna call for my boss. Well, that guy just chicken out. Out, but we still got one more to deal with. There's no way I could beat you in a straight competition, so... Get ready for my Super Ultra Mambo Tango Foxtrot Martial Arts! And here we have the leader of this boss brigade, Captain Strong! Um, he's just as strong, he's stronger than the other four cops that we fought. But he's still relatively powerful. When he loses his temper, he can increase his offense by a one. Just make sure you guard before he attacks. Like that. Him coming out swinging is a good way to deal with that. Now let's see. Alright. PK Rockin! He can guard against your psychic mind. Right. Oh, he can- whoa. He's fast. Remember. On guard. He knows how to go- He knows how- How to- Well! What do you know? Oh. Random pounding works! <laughs> I 
I didn't think you'd do so well against the mighty Onet police force. You want me to ro open the road to Tucson? Hang on for a sec. I'll radio my staff and give him the word. <coughs> Strong here. Do you read me? <coughs> hey! It's me, Captain Strong! Okay, listen. A kid named Ness will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to open the road to Tucson for him. I know that. I know that! Don't ask me why, just do it! That's an order! Strong out! Well, kid, I'm not going to question you now, but I do want to see you again. Good luck! Thanks, Captain. Thanks. You really gave me a good workout there. Hey, I'm in here. Go and find another can. <laughs> I was just joking. This is a jail! You guys have no business being here. <laughs> we have this guy. Psst, I'm not really one of the gang. I'm a cop, even if I don't look like it. <laughs> Looking snazzy. But, here, and when we talk to him now, I've been playing Earthbound lately. I'm having a tough time of it. What party up to? Maybe I can do some help for you. Maybe I can help you. If it's the if it's the four-man police, if it's the five-man cop rush, you're on your own. <laughs> well, I'm not exactly in the best shape to be be heading to Tucson, but so I'll take a few minutes to go and re recover my strength. Mom will understand. I know she will. <laughs> that guy got hit by a truck again. <laughs> that guy got hit by a truck again. Okay. Let's just do this. You're back! Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look too tired. Mothers understand these things. Eat some steak and scoot up to bed. Okay, Mommy. Tucson. Figure out what's going on. Good morning, Sleepy Bones. Are you ready to start your adventure? I am so proud of you. My little man is growing up too fast. Don't worry, Paula. Whatever it is, I'll find you. I'm on my way right now. <laughs> now that I'm at the, at the height of my strength, thanks so far, I think it is time we head down to Tucson, figure out what's what. Oh. And, you know, just for... TRUCK! Whoop! That was a close one. A favor and stay off the main road. Well, now if we talk to the the mayor, but now that now that that's over with, talk to the mayor. But huh? wait, is it is wait? Are you the mayor? There are lots of snakes in the street. Oh, you're not the mayor. You look so much like you could have been the mayor. It's not funny. Okay, maybe it is a little funny. 
You look like someone who's going to do something big. <laughs> Don't I know it. Let's be talking to this, this officer guy. Thank you so much for all your help. <laughs> this guy is Perkle, not the guy in red. Hey, what's your name? I'm so busy with my election that I don't have time to meet you. Whoops. Well, if you talked to the mayor after you beat the Titanic ant and before you fought the cops, he'd give you a hundred dollars for, 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 for the cop, for, he'd give you a hundred bucks for, just for, for, th for helping him, him with the Titanic ant problem. In the next election, how about, how about now? Oh. Regardless, this, this meeting was a waste of my time. I'm gonna say it once, this, this meeting was just a waste of my time. Yeah. Yeah. This meeting with the mayor was a waste of my time. It was a big waste of my time. Why did I even... That's a few... Well... But still, it's worth remembering that when you traverse the... If you can traverse when you traverse the arcade, you can talk to Frank to heal up too. Hotel. All right, here are the officers. The roadblocks are, seem to be gone. Hey, aren't you Ness? Well, I got the okay from Chief Strong to let you through. Take care of yourself. I will. You're doing well. Keep it up. The town map can be checked out at the library. You can also use the map in Tucson. It's really useful. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Now we can access this area. Oh, and some of the enemies run away from us. Like this one. Oh, right. These are black antoids. EK Rockets! <laughs> Okay, yeah. Sometimes PK Rockin' doesn't work on enemies. Jeez. As powerful as it is, it can be it's that's a minor drawback. Let's see if it works this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it works. Like a charm. And we have this this house. This house wasn't accessible before. Hmm. Mice. I live rent-free in the mouse's house. These mice are known as exit mice. They're very kind, and boy are they fast. I really love these guys. You can actually befriend one of these exit mice. Please take my son along. He may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in a maze. Will you take one of my sons along? Yes. He's a tough boy. You can treat him as one of your items. The exit mice... That... And here we have a new item. The exit mouse. Exit mouse. If you use this in a dungeon or some such place, the mouse brings you back to the place where you entered. It's a very smart mouse. Very smart. Just make sure he doesn't get stolen by crows. That would be bad. Okay, more black antoids. Blast them with rockin'. And again, we have to save our psychic cards for when we really need them. Ness cannot carry any more stuff. Throw something away. And this is what happens when you don't have enough enough space for items. Ooh! Level up! Level 14. And so, like one, guts up by one, luck up by two, max HP by two. And a new power! Paralysis! This item, this power should be really helpful well, in, in, in battles to come. I should probably eat some. But I'll, or I'll check this area. Nessa, put the present hamburger inside. You got too much stuff already. Oh, that's fine. I can eat this bread roll. And then receive this hamburger. And now I have four. I have four hamburgers once again. 
I'm sure there are some new enemies on this path to Tucson. Like, that mushroom wasn't originally there, was it? Didn't think so. This is the rambling evil mushroom. Brand new enemy. Oh. And this is a bad thing. This is what, what when it scatters spores, you become mushroomized. And, okay, that hurts. Okay. And here's the fun part. And here's the fun part. When you become mushroomized. Oh no, not another mushroom. When you become mushroomized, it'll take a while for the effect to kick in, I know, but when it does kick in, you're in for a surprise. Yeah, you're Sprite. Yes, you have a mushroom on your head. Seems like such a big... Doesn't seem like such a big deal, but... Just you wait. Ah, oh, hi. This. This. Okay, now our comp... Our... Our control... Scheme is completely messed up. I am currently... I just got hit by a freaking taxi and a cab carrier. We. <laughs> Just literally carrying me. The taxi was literally carrying me along. Um, well, it's a good thing there are hospitals. And now I'm go And now sometimes it completely reverses. A dodge truck. Sometimes it will go completely reverse. Uh, okay, now it. Okay, now is. The Why did choose now of all times to? Like, I feel like, why did you choose now, have to choose now of all times to reset, to change back? Okay, I'm gonna need 50 bucks for this. Okay, this is the... <laughs> yeah. When mushroomized, not only are you confused in battle, but you have... You have a mushroom on your head and in your sprite, and your control scheme is all is all screwed up. Up, up where up sometimes where down becomes right, right becomes up, up becomes left, and right and right left becomes down. Down. So your diag so it completely screws up your the completely reverses the diagonal control scheme. Control scheme on the diagonal. Oh. Completely reverses the control scheme on. And semi completely reverses the control scheme on the diagonal. And sometimes it returns. It's, sometimes it returns completely to normal. Talking to this guy will likely. Oh, you may not believe it. I'm a healer. If you have some illness that cannot be treated at a hospital, it's my job to cure you. Hey, now that I know this, could you sell me the mushroom growing on top of your head? Come on, let's make a deal. Thanks, I'll pay you $50 for each mushroom. All right, let's do it. By the way, do you need any help? No. Hmm, come back when necessary. If the healer notices that you're mushroomized, he will he will, he will will cure you by buying the mushroom off your head for $50. Not a bad deal, really. Not too, not too bad a deal, I'd say. And it, and it works if you have multiple party members, too. On that code machine, transaction, whoops, wrong one, wrong transaction. Welcome to the automatic teller machine, please select transaction, deposit. And now we just deposit a hundred. Thank you very much, and we leave. Yeah, the trip to Tucson's gonna be rather infuriating. If we keep running into those random rambling evil mushrooms. This I know for a fact. But, honestly, kind of refreshing. We're gonna go to a new location, fight new enemies, and learn new powers along the way. That's what I love about this game. And, the and of course, the mushrooms also gang up on you. Fun! Let's just blast this one with PSI rockin'.
that's man. Oh, and now we're mushroomized again. Yep, I've been mushroomized again. I'm definitely gonna need to learn the algorithm on how of how my how the control scheme gets screwed up. But we'll consider that once we get into Tucson. I love this music. Whoop! I, it, it screwed up on the diagonal. No problem. Whoops. I'm not an enemy. I'm just a friendly mole. I'll tell you how to distinguish between your friends and enemies. It's easy to tell an enemy just by looking at them. Enemies look like humans with weirdly colored faces. Beware of them. However, you can't get more powerful if you avoid your enemies. He's, the mole is right. Humans, it's the, 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 the humans influenced by evil who are the, the bizarrely colored face. Welcome! Would you like me to tell you about Tucson? Yes, please. Tucson has a modern, clean hotel. There's a hospital and the wonderful Chaos Theater. There's the Polestar Preschool and a nice bus station. If you're curious, you might want to check out Bergwin Park. It's exciting. East of the town, you'll find Peaceful Rest Valley. On the other side of the valley is Happy Happy Village. There's also a pizza parlor. Do you want to know anything else? Well, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything else. Uh, Tucson. We got this name because we weren't first. <laughs> no problem here. That's the banner for Tucson. Sim oh, not on Lego Nest. And now the control scheme's reversed completely. Tucson Hotel. 50 bucks a night for a single room. What? Oh no! <laughs> it can't be seen like this! <laughs> Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself! Okay, get ready for an instant memory! Get, get ready for an instant memory! Look at the camera! Ready, say! Fuzzy Pickles! <laughs> Fuzzy Pickles! Uh, wh what? Wow, what a great photograph! It will always bring back the fondest of memories! Okay, now I'm curious to see if the mushroom actually appears in the... F <gasps> Whee! Hey look, it's a part... Mr. T! Oh, just dodged that truck there. Get back here, Mr. T! I saw some weird bad guy following Paula. This guy gives me the creeps. You ain't just whistling Dixie there. What? I'm running in circles. We have this guy. I heard Paula was kidnapped, but it's still unconfirmed. So that's why Paula a call to me. She needs my help. Going in here, there's... Whoops. Wrong button. What? Okay. This is one of those guys that we should probably... Okay, there might not be anyone here. Okay, maybe there is someone here. And I have a mushroom on my head. Great. Okay, just push it. Okay, uh, just order yourself to the kit. Dad and Mom had left for Happy Happy Village. They want to meet with the founder of their religion there. Religion, huh? Sounds a little fishy. Well, now I'm back to my normal self, but I just need to find the hospital. If I can find that, I can get this darned mushroom off my head. And... Okay. I always see you walking around. Walking's good for your health. Thank you, Mr. Red Car Man. We have the cycle shop. Up the Tucson department store. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Hey look, this must be Chaos Eater. Tonight, the boogie is back. It's the Runaway Fives night. If I had some connections, I could walk right in, but I'm just a regular Joe. I love standing in a queue. I also love words that start with Q. Uh, no, 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 you can't do this. I also love words that start with Q. Why 
Wag, wag. I'm starting a line here. I want a ticket for today's show, but I may not get it. What? 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 Help! We have the Runaway Five here. We, that's right, we are the Runaway Five. We're popular, but not rich. We're being cheated by this theater. We're really deep in debt. Yeah. We may be popular, but that girl who lives at the house in the, where the preschool is the talk of the town. I want to see her someday. Maybe, maybe I'll find... Paula. There was a kidnapping. Believe me, even though I'm just a dog. Or I believe you. I just need to get this darn mushroom off my head. Ah! Ah! Here's Bergwin Park, Full Star Preschool. Where's the friggin' hospital? All right. Alright, if I just press the X button, I'll find my way there. Oh, whoops. Turns out I've been going the complete wrong way. Uh, I blame the mushroom on my head. I definitely seriously blame the mushroom on my head. And people wonder why I call it the wander around like an idiot hour sometimes. But this time it's the wander around with a mushroom on my head hour! Though you may not believe it, I'm a healer. If you have some illness that cannot be treated at the hospital, it's my job to cure you. Hey, now that I notice, could you sell me the mushroom growing on top of your head? Come on, let's make a deal. I'm willing to sell it. Thanks, I'll pay you $50 for each mushroom. Alright, let's do it! And now you're cured. By the way, do you need any help? No. Come back when necessary. I think I will. As for this sign behind the door, it says, To recover or not depends on luck. Believe in your luck. Believe your doctor also. The doctor believes in his luck. <laughs> right there was the lead doctor. And we have... Teddy? I wanted to see the circus at three, the town that over, but I hurt my leg in the Peaceful Rest Valley. Darn. We have this guy. I had an argument with my friend about happy happyism. Oh. I'm, I'm assuming your friend's in the next room. But what is happy happyism, I wonder? I got bit by zombies in three, the town next over, so I'm stuck in this hospital. I left something good at the three hospital, but now I can't go get it because the bus can't get through the tunnel. Maybe I'll pick it up for you. This... I just gotta get... I just need to... <sighs> now I need to find the hotel. By checking the map, I can find it's not too far. Not too far away. <laughs> I see that you're young, but we but have had some adventures. I think that Paula'd be a good friend to you. I'm sure she would, ma'am. Whoop, taxi! <laughs> and here's the hotel I just... You must be quite a rich boy to stay at a nice, such a nice first-class hotel like this one. I guess I am. Welcome to Hotel Tucson. I know a nice day. We'll come to stay. Sure. I've got exa I've got the dough. Have a nice stay. Ah, lovely. This is. Hotels can replenish your, your, your HP and psychic points. Completely, like staying at like staying at mom's or talking to Frank. 
That's what I like about this. How about reading the newspaper before you go? Here's this morning Tucson's Tribune headline. Ghost found to inhabit tunnel to Threed. That'll be make things difficult. What? So what? Huh? Pardon? Jeez. Hmm? You're annoying. Dang me! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> hey, you! Later days, pal! Ah! <laughs> so hot today, it rocks! Is it cold today? Oh, see ya! Here, get yourself a juice or something. Ching! Yeah, pestering this guy, he gives you 50 extra dollars, meaning you can stay a second night here. Talking to this guy, he has quite the same problem that I do. Do I have a mushroom on my head? If you say no, he says, you're one of those people that say no right off the bat to any question, right? Okay, this guy. Do I have a mushroom on my head? Yes. That's what I thought. Recently, I couldn't quite, quite walk quite right. It was because of this mushroom. It's actually kind of fun, so I'll leave it here. Don't you think I look stylish with the mushroom? It's, yeah. This guy has a bizarre mushroom on his head. Like we did. Twice today! Oh, well. Let's just talk to Dad and... Talk to dad. Ness, it's your dad. I deposited $359 into your bank account. Taking away what you've spent, you should now have $1,736 in the bank. Well, experience to get to the next level, Ness, is 1352 Anyway, what do you need from me? All done. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I've created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night. Sleep tight. Figure more about this mystery, this to the Tucson next time. Next time on Earthbound, we continue exploring Tucson. I learn what happened to the mysterious girl who called us in our dream, Paula. Uh, and we'll do something about it. We'll go save her. See, Matane. We're a great team, aren't we? Well, you should turn the power off instead of just pressing reset. All right.